Hi guys, this is Duncan from DigitalDojos.com. Straight away you're probably thinking, how the hell did you get your icons like that on your iPhone? Well as you know I'm using a jailbroken iPhone. Those of you who are updating to 4.0.2, I strongly recommend against it, you're going to lose your jailbreak. Those of you already on 4.0.2 with an iPhone 4 or an iPhone 3GS, I feel sorry for you, you've got to wait now for the new jailbreak to come out. So, here we have the three icons. Normally there'd be four lots of four across. This is actually using Iconoclasm, this is an icon framework. To access it you simply need to go to Settings and then Iconoclasm. Now this is a paid app in the Cydia App Store. Yes I know you actually have to spend money in the Cydia App Store to get anything decent. The most desirable apps need to be paid. Now I paid for uh, three apps, I'm going to show you all three. But first is the Iconoclasm. They're not very expensive um, but just be aware that you do have to pay. So you can see at the moment I have 3x3. Three three. I'm actually going to quickly switch to 5x5 five five to show you. So you can see 5x5 five five, and then I just go back and apply changes and respring which will sort all the icons out for me. You saw I could do it manually there. I'll show you again when we go back in. You can see we have 5x5 five five here which is quite nice. I'm just going to go back again and I'm going to choose 5x4 five five this time which is the same as 5 columns springboard which is available through the City App Store, but I'm not sure if it's been updated. It wasn't working the last time I tried it. But yeah, so you can see the simple mode here. You have as many rows as you like, up to 10, and you can pad out your icons from there. So it's pretty nice. There's a bunch of layouts available in the Cydia, Cydia um, App Store, which are available for free. So, here I have 5x4. Now, for me, this looks a little bit crowded. I've always had the problem with my icons looking crowded on my iPhone. So I want to be able to shrink these icons down. This can be done with shrink. This again is another paid app and simply go to the scale. This is the scale of the icons on your main page so I'm going to choose 75 percent. These are our scale, align, badge scale and wider labels. I'm going to go for the badge scale and I'm going to set 25 percent. The reason for this is that I don't like the badges on the iPhone. I turn the push notifications off to save battery and um, I just generally dislike them and if I have an older app which I have plenty of IPAs on my system from older um, I, when I backed up my iTunes before as the apps have changed so much that they look terrible now uh, when I go onto it every time I open the app store it tells me I've got two updates and then adds that badge and I can't get rid of it so I have to have the badges at 25% to hide that also and the dock icons work the same way so I would like to usually have my dock icons smaller than the page icons so I have it at 66 and uh, I'm going to have the badge scale on for this usually because I would like to be alerted of emails and texts, things like that. So that pretty much is that. You can change the position of the page indicators, that's that little dot dot and then the little uh, magnifying glass for spotlight which I never use. So I'm going to choose dot card because this is as close to the dock as possible and all I need to do is press the home button and you can see how much nicer that looks, how much more you can fit on the screen. You can also do this with that 5x5 five five that I show you, so you can have 25 apps all on the same page, or you can have 25 folders and just go completely mental with it. So that was Shrink and uh, Iconoclasm. I'm going to show you Infinity Folders. Bear with me, talk amongst yourselves while I put everything in a folder to show you how it works. So normally the limit that you have with Apple with the folders is 12. So I'm just going to try and bungle these in. And as you can see I've hit a wall here. If I try and put iTunes in there it chucks it straight back out. So I'm going to go to the App Store and show you uh, the purchasing of apps. Now I've already purchased it so it's going to show that I've already purchased it but you can, bu you can buy it with uh, Amazon and PayPal and it will be signed to your Google account if you have one um, and also if you restore your phone and you jailbreak it again it will know. This is a freshly jailbroken iPhone and I'm just going to search for Infini... Oops. Oh shoot, let's try that again. Oh, it's going to reload it. <sighs> one thing I don't like about Cydia. But I don't really like Rock either. Rock is an alternative to Cydia which is also a sort of app store. Okay, let's go back. Right, here we are. Infinity folders. You can see that the paid ones are indicated in blue, so you'll know that you have to pay for them. Usually it would say purchase, but mine's already been purchased, so it should just say install. And there you go, it says the warning as well. Do not update to 4.0.2. <laughs> so you can see I purchased it. I'm just going to press install just to show you how this works out. It just works pretty much the same as normally installing the application. And then we'll hopefully it won't ask me to reboot, it'll just respring for me. There we go, restart springboard.
And here we go again. You saw that it chucked me out when I put iTunes in. I'm going to try it again. Oops. You can see it now accepts it. I'm going to put them all in just to show you. And my apologies for making this icon too small that you might not be able to see it. So there we go. I put knocked everything down to one folder. Now when I open it, you can see I have 12 here, but I can just simply drag up. And there's my extra folders. It it never made sense to me that Apple limited it to 12 per folder. But you can see, I can simply do that, or I can uh, move it on the side, and just have as many as I want here. So if you're one to have a gazillion folders worth of games, you can put them all into one, and just scroll through them. Very similar to how Android does it. Whoop, excuse me for doing that. So that pretty much sums it up. This Iconoclasm, which is the icon framework, you can get a bunch of layouts available. Uh, I can show you, see if I can show you one more layout before I go. I'll show you the triangle layout. I'll see how that works with the um, with the shrink. So go to Iconoclasm layout and choose triangle. Just to show you one more, I believe it's not going to show me is it if, unless I take these out. And I need to respring again. Bear with me, talk amongst yourselves again. I'm just going to drag these out, one of these, to give you some perspective on a layout. They do have them for iPad as well, just so you know. You can get this for iPad, for jailbroken iPads, and they do have things like 7x7 for the much bigger screen that you'll probably need if you have an iPad, because the standard layout again sucks, I have to say. Just bring these out again. You can skip forward 20 seconds if you like. Skip, avoid me doing this. Okay, go back into settings, because I've already applied it but I haven't respringed it. Just have to apply changes and respring. And there you go, nice little triangle layout, pretty cool stuff. It's obviously not got that because I haven't got that many icons. That pretty much sums it up. If you really want to change the layout of your icons, you can use that with Iconoclasm. If you want to shrink your icons, you can use Shrink. And if you want to have uh, over 12 apps in your folders, you can use Infini folders. They're all paid, unfortunately. Check them out in the Studio App Store. Simply search for them, and up they should come. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to Digital Dojos if you like these videos. And thanks again.